All right, I got my new waffle maker, and uh, and uh, I thought I'd do a little review on it. Um, I've taken some pictures, but I thought, you know, I, this has worked out so well. I've never seen anything like it. Still a little hot here, but not too bad. Um, anyway, uh, it has really nice heat coming from both ends, and it's both sides is like. 100% comparable. So what I'm doing is like, if I make my sandwiches with this, or I make the waffles, they're exactly the same brownness on both sides. It's just beautiful. Um, there is a griddle on there. Don't plan on probably using that, but I mean it's there. Um, mostly it's going to be this and this. I have a panini one like this that I basically uh, I gave away because I wanted to. I have to have room. I just don't have room, but I have room for this. And the other maker was a little bit bigger than <laughs> a little bit bigger than this guy. Is, so uh, it was an old one, very old one. So anyway, it uh, it starts nice, and you can uh, now there's low, medium, and high. Uh, I don't like mine really dark for crispy, and I don't like it to where it's kind of pale. So medium is just perfect for me. Um, now it'll 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 change to uh, when it's ready, when it takes off ready, when it's ready to do some more. Actually, ready to put the battery in, so um, you can switch menu from waffle to sandwich. Uh, of course, grill too. Then there's a place for start and stop. So I'm not gonna crank it up too much right now. It's gonna. It's already gotten. Yeah, it's it's pretty warm. So anyway, um, it pops in and out beautifully. It's got buttons on both sides. Um, I'm just gonna show this a little bit, but that's what it looks like underneath it. And it pops in there beautifully. So, it's a little hot in my fingers right there, but then it just pops in just like that and then it's ready to go. It's just beautiful. I just love how that works. But it works beautifully on, on, on just makes the most, and all, you know, all of them are the same. So, one side or the other, they're both, they're both beautiful on both sides. It's just wonderful. I love that. Um, now it's nice to have the Panini ones too. They pop in just as easily. And this pops in across, completely across. Uh, I did it just to see if it would work because I, I don't know if I would ever use, because I, I grill outside. I don't need a griddle, so. Um, um, yeah, yeah, I doubt it very much. I'd probably use that part. But I love, they, these, these make fantastic. Ham and cheese sandwiches, that's what I use that for. So, um, other than that, um, it just works beautifully. I mean, it's easy to get everything out, easy to clean. Oh my gosh, they just pop out. You just throw those in the in the dishwasher, and they come out so clean. And they're nonstick, and they are very nonstick. Even though uh, on my waffles, I do put a little bit of spray, but um, uh, I've done it either way. And uh, the first time I did it, I didn't use any spray, and they still came out. Uh, so. I don't know. I just put spray on them for some reason. I don't know why, but um, other than uh, they might get a little crispier, maybe. I don't know. It's hard to say. But anyway, um, it works really good. And the sandwich is the same way. Um, I'll actually take a little butter, and and I like to butter this side when I lay my bread in there, and that just, oh, that's just really good. So that's just a tip there, too. Um, other than that, uh, no cons. I mean, it works beautifully, exactly like it said it would, and I'm really happy with it. I'm just very happy with it.